Hermosa Beach, California. Many of you know it is the bro capital of the world. A city where the weekend never ends and summer never dies. Where the transition from fraternity life to working life is so seamless that bros from as far as San Diego arrive with the promise of a dream they thought only existed in college. But unfortunately, there's trouble in paradise. It's really fairly simple. Bro sanctuaries like Hermosa Beach, uh, which thrived in the mid-2000s, are now under threat by a highly invasive, rapidly expanding hipster population. Uh, we're seeing locally grown organic grocery stores and recycled clothing retailers pop up in places where uh, 10, 15 years ago you'd only find a dank burrito spot or a, uh, a chill-ass surf shop. <laughs> Now, why is this a crisis? Well, first you have to understand the fundamental differences between bros and hipsters. People think being in a frat it's all about raging and f***ing bitches. I mean, yeah, I did slam mad put back in the day and my shotgun time was down around 2.7 flat. But what people forget is the network of the brotherhood. Like, my boss is a brother saw my Greek letters, hired me on the spot. Frats these days, always getting bagged on for being douchey. But honestly, my frat was just different, you know? The brothers were just so chill and, you know, different. Why did I ever graduate, man? Now, being in a fraternity, it's by no means a requirement for brohood. But statistics consistently show that 99% of bros who have any semblance of a college education uh, have indeed been in a fraternity. Uh, hipsters, on the other hand. Going vegan was just really easy for me. I was a vegetarian until I attended Portland State and living in a co-op just really opened my eyes. I used to identify as an atheist Marxist, but Truth be told, I'm more of a pantheistic anarchist. Hipsters are systematically opposed to convention. Uh, they, they deliberately obsess over stuff that no one has ever heard of, um, music especially. I stick with the classics, you know, Scandinavian folk rock, early animal collective. I don't think you've probably ever heard of them, but I really like Neutral Milk Hotel. Music used to stand for something. Today it's just mind-numbing drivel, except Radiohead. Tom York is a genius. Oh, you have heard of them. Great, great. Well, they're a little overrated. Like they kind of sold out after their last album. Yeah, reggae is super sick for when you're baked. But if I'm just like chosen with the boys or whatever, kind of down for some like Luke Bryan or some shit. Dubstep is sick, but only when you're super up, you know? The bass drops and you're just like, what? Now it's no secret that the bro's very survival uh, depends on a bubbly alcoholic beverage uh, known as beer. Okay, vodka is pretty chill, don't get me wrong, but nothing beats a 30 rack of natty. Nothing. Ah, age old debate. Keystone or natty? As a rule, all bros love the HBO show Entourage, uh, even the ones who haven't seen it. Um, it. Here's a show of bros, by bros, for bros. Entourage? <laughs> Game changer. That show's sick as f With the exception of Wes Anderson movies, hipsters avoid visual entertainment, preferring instead uh, activities like reading philosophy, uh, meditating, or even gardening. Playing mandolin's just like a spiritual experience for me. You know, it's almost as if I'm strumming the strings of my own soul. On the road is like my Bible or whatever. Reading Kerouac's spontaneous prose is akin only to like sitting in a smoky New York jazz club during the 50s. The man takes you on a metaphysical journey to the heart of the American dream that 
in my professional opinion, epitomizes the modern human condition. I actually addressed a similar issue in my dissertation when I discussed Nietzsche's alleged sex. Midway through conversation, hipsters often digress into esoteric ramblings that absolutely no one understands or cares about. Which basically sums up why Nietzsche's critique of Christianity was actually a driving force behind the feminist movement of the 1970s, contrary to popular belief. I lift every day. Rest days are for pussies. Super stoked fantasy football season's about to start. Now, people often ask me, uh, why are bros drawn to Hermosa? Well, isn't it obvious? You're living by the beach is dope. Like, every Sunday, wake up early, take a couple BLs, and then paddle out for dawn patrol with the boys. Catch some fun ones, then cruise back in and finish the sesh with a fat breakfast burrito. Extra bacon. Bro, the bar scene down here is super clutch. If we're rolling deep, we usually hit my buddy's house down on the strand because he's got some fat subwoofers. By the time we hit the bars, straight black. Due to a combination of environmental and cultural factors, uh, the bro population peaked in 2005. Uh, but with the recent influx of hipsters, we're seeing an unprecedented ecological devastation in communities just like Hermosa Beach. I had been living in Brooklyn for a year and I was really just trying to figure out who I was. And I heard on NPR that Hermosa was becoming one of LA's greenest cities. It was revelatory. I just knew like I had to be there. I had to be a part of that revolution. Fucking like, last Saturday, me and the boys hit up the bars for happy hour, walked in and I was like, okay, too many heads, dude, too many heads. Race was rough. Fucking hipsters, dude. Everyone's been riding those fixie bikes and driving Priuses. My go-to grub spot's now a juice bar, and bars don't even have Natty on tap anymore. Like, what the f***? The f***ing hipsters took away Iron Man. Dude, you don't touch Iron Man. Ah uh, yes, Iron Man. Uh, every July 4th, hundreds of bros from across LA County descend onto Hermosa Beach to compete in Iron Man, a uh, sacred competition in which participants run a mile, uh, paddle a mile on a surfboard, and proceed to consume a six-pack of alcoholic beverages. Uh, the first to finish, w without vomiting for 15 minutes, uh, wins. So classic, last year in chat threw up. <laughs> Well, bitch ass. Dude, last year probably saw 59s in the span of like 20 minutes. Since the 1970s, Iron Man has been an integral element of the Hermosa Beach Bro hierarchy. A way for them to establish who is a beast and who is a f***ing pussy. And last month, hipsters successfully petitioned this 40-year-old tradition. Iron Man is just completely counterintuitive. Ingesting alcoholic toxins after an intensive cardio workout? Your body's a temple, you should treat it like one. Iron Man is a barbaric ritual. It just feeds into the cult of bestial masculinity that's so prevalent in America today. In a larger sense, it reflects the socio-cultural decline of Western civilization as a whole. I actually addressed a similar topic in my dissertation when I argued that, listen, the facts speak for themselves. Okay, beer sales are down, uh, gyms are losing business, the bro population is decreasing at an average rate of 5% a year. Uh, and, and Hermosa Beach is just the tip of the iceberg, my friend. By 2040, we're estimating a bro population as low as 60 in the entire world. That's right, six zero. Yeah, dude, it's rough out here for sure. Like, might have to move down to Redonda or some shit. I've already got this sick place in Pedro on lock. I'm just waiting until my lease here is up. Can't really deal with these hipsters anymore. Look, I know what you're thinking. Uh, bros are a bona fide menace to society, but consider this. Are hipsters much better? I mean, sure, they're, they won't ask you if you're uh, trying to scrap because they thought you were mad-dogging them at, at, at a bar, but hipsters carry a pretentious hierarchy of social judgment that could become every bit as dangerous as the bro's macho self-confidence. 
Honestly, I'm really optimistic about our proposal for a citywide ban on smoking. If the ratio between bros and hipsters continues to drop, what will be the cost if we continue to do nothing? I mean, we could live in a world where there is no proud buff guy who drives a lifted F-250 to come in and check the smug, scrawny guy in the thick rimmed glasses who drives a Prius. I mean, think about it. For Pete's sake, we have a moral obligation to protect and preserve these bros before it's too late. You know, these hipsters don't get it. We'll never get it. In the end, it's not about the rage or the put. It's about the brotherhood, the true loyalty. It goes back to something my pledge master told me during Hell Week back when I was just a little bitch ass pledge. He said, boys, never ever forget the bro code. Don't f go over another brother. To be honest, I can't live in a world without that, without that, without that. have the time to listen to me whine about nothing and everything all at once so what are the best supplements yeah we got uh shadow gainer creatine she four uh, to the bone no doubt about it super hd bcas hemorrhage Sometimes my mind plays tricks on me. Dark matter and an explode. I think I'm crazy.